Meet Franklin Getchell and his partner, design guru Murray Moss, who live in a 1929 colonial revival in Hamden, Connecticut. Murray's store, Moss, forever changed the zeitgeist of design retail with its museum-like presentations of incongruous juxtapositions. Here's how they live today with their home featuring the treasures that illustrates that Murray's love of unlikely juxtapositions still reigns. We said we bought it from Snow White, the house, after the dwarves had all died. Once you sort of get into it, and then you get into Alice Washburn, who is the architect, everything kind of takes on more depth. What I liked was her lack of rules. She didn't follow the rules, she didn't care. She was going to build a 1929 house that has elements of medieval garrison architecture. If she wants a little Baroque thing, let's do it. For 50 years, we never lived in a, in a place that had a dining room because it was modernism, and modernism did away with specificity of rooms, so we had a dining area, which I hate, okay? I just couldn't wait to have the formality of those two sculptures. In the bedroom, it's basically an attic feeling, except she threw in a very large leaded glass window, floor to ceiling, which looks like a Disneyland Snow White castle. When he finishes moving all the furniture in the morning, he has his quiet little breakfast there at that table in the corner, which is also de Mühlemeister. At first it felt too like ideal, too vacation-y. And then I thought, but to sit in front of a double door on a terrace in the morning before the sun has come up, and have the air coming in and have my cup of tea and something is like have it like it's so great. I talk about like the, the bulo table because that's the thing you rearrange things upon. Well I thought that I would create pictorially sort of history of from modernism to postmodernism. I'm standing in the attic and also the new classroom of Marie Moss, who is going to be teaching a master's class for Rhode Island School of Design students. Marie Moss has always been known for his daring in design, his absolutely eclectic eye that is unlike anybody else's. If you have the courage and the confidence to take disparate elements that you wouldn't normally think would at all live together in a setting that is quite prescribed, like a colonial house that was built in 1929, Go for it. You never know. This might be the most successful decor you've ever done.